2K Sports pregame show. I'm Ernie Johnson here again with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. This NBA season rocking right along, and we're loving every minute of it. Tonight, we'll be watching the Houston Rockets playing against the Orlando Magic. We've seen a lot of quality basketball from this Orlando team lately. This is their first time facing off this season. Last year, they split the season series at a game apiece. Now, if you want to see a stat sheet stuffer, you're going to want to keep your eyes on Freak in this one. He's been putting up a number of double-doubles in this recent outing, Shaq. You know, Freak knows that he can do more than just be a scorer on this team. You know, he's a great passer. He's a great leader, especially for a young guy. He's looking for a shot. He's being active all the time, and he's really helping the others play at a high level, Ernie. I haven't seen a guy like this come into the league in a long time. Ernie. Stop it. I'm serious. Not a guy Stop like it. this who has multiple ways to impact the game, Shaq. Stop Not it. just one way. He's exactly. Oh, you called me a one? Boy, I will reach across the I table just, and knock I said, you out right you, now. It's been a long time since you've been in the but league. But you said you just called I me a one-way player. I said in a long player. time I hadn't seen it. I didn't say I hadn't seen it before. I said I hadn't seen it in a long time. Have you ever seen a spelling uh, of a freak quite like that? Yes. Yeah. That's French, Ernie. Uh, yeah. F-R-E-Q. No, I thought it was more Brazilian. Oh. Well, he is uh, frequently uh, a star, uh, and you'll want to see him tonight. <laughs> He's freakish that in his ways. Hilarious, wasn't it, Shaq? That was pretty good. Well, that was outrageously funny. That was that was pretty freakish. Oh, yeah, it was. Here's Kevin. I already Harlan. said freakish. Oh, you lose a point. <laughs> Up now, if you want to be anywhere near my level, always a talking freak. See you out there, man. The magic right of Orlando and into this team conference game. Well, what better way to spend a Monday night than with the 2K sports team and the NBA? Yo, yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. DDG94, here with another NBA 2K My Career game plan. Today, we are taking on the Houston Rockets we are wearing our throwbacks obviously these two teams have faced each other in the uh, NBA Finals before so why not wear our throwbacks today we got the Houston Rockets wearing their throwbacks and we got us wearing our throwbacks and the, the time and era where these two teams met in the uh, NBA Finals and uh, one team swept the other one and sadly I'm playing for the team that got swept so <laughs> uh, but we can correct that uh, hopefully we can as I get stripped right there by I don't know who the fuck that was uh, whatever so anyways though um, we are taking on the Houston Rockets and you see the title you know why you're here so let's talk why do I feel this? Why do I feel like this is where Kevin Durant is going to go? Why do I feel like this? This is, and, and this can only happen if this scenario actually plays out. Because I do think that, that this scenario can happen. And I, knew, and I do need to start up my MVP talk, too. We got to talk basketball, y'all. You, you already know. We got to talk basketball, man. I'm I'm a basketball junkie, and, I, and you know me. I'm a basketball junkie. I live, breathe, and die basketball, man. What this channel is based off of, basketball, NBA 2K, NBA Live. That's what this channel is based off of, and that's what I'm, that's, that's just, this just the game I love, man. So, yeah. Basketball, basketball, basketball. But in order for Kevin Durant to come to the Houston Rockets, one thing has to happen. James Harden has to win MVP over him. If James Harden wins MVP over him, there's a good chance Kevin Durant may be in a Houston Rockets jersey next season. Alongside Dwight Howard. I mean, and you got to look at this team, too. You got to look how this team could actually work. This would be, this team would be what the Miami Heat would be like what the Miami Heat was with Wade, Bosch, and LeBron. 
this would be the same team but it's in the Western Conference which makes it a little bit more harder that's the only thing it'll be in the Western Conference so, I th so building a super team like this would be I don't know it's, it's hard because it's the Western Conference anything can happen out here in these streets you gotta play smart you gotta be smart you gotta you know yeah stay on your toes because you never know when the Spurs might just hop out he might just might just come out of nowhere and just you know you know you never know man the Spurs man that's the, that's the only team that you really have to worry about is the Spurs man cause the Spurs man when they when they come back, man, when they when they come out of nowhere, man, they gonna hit you with that. Yeah, going bad to back. They might hit you with that, man. Spurs might you, you know, you might you might you know, you might be screaming championship, but then the next thing you know, uh Spurs the Spurs gonna come out of nowhere and hit you with that. Love it and you gotta get a world tour. Is that a world tour or your girls tour? You know, they might hit you with that. So, you know, you got to be on your P's and Q's out here in these streets in the Western Conference, man. Because the Spurs do not die. They don't play around. Unless Tim Duncan retires after this season, then then all systems go on the Western Conference. <laughs> but anyways, though, man, I, I, I just got to say that, man. Um, I, I think that Kevin Durant can go to the Houston Rockets. I think, it, like I said, man, it could be the Miami Heat 2.0 with those three guys think about it you got James Harden who will be like Dwayne Wade you would have Kevin Durant who will basically be LeBron and you would have uh, Dwight Howard who would be Chris Bosh um, so yeah I, I man if Kevin Durant was to go to the Houston Rockets and form this super duper extravaganza team uh, known as, you know, it, it form this super team with James Harden, dude. Dude. Just RIP to everybody who's not on the Spurs, man. RIP to the whole Western Conference except for everybody, anybody who's on the Spurs. If you ain't on the Spurs, if you ain't on the Spurs, man. Here's the franchise following the basket by Dwight Howard. Shots good from the franchise. Man, if you ain't on the Spurs, man, it, it's rip. Rip in peace, man. Like for real, how do you how do you get past a team like this in the Western Conference? I know, the, like I said, anything can happen in the Western Conference because it's the Western Conference. But a formidable team like this, and then you got the coaching of Kevin McHale, who's a really good coach. Um, you you can't. What can you say, man? Kevin Durant on the Houston Rockets? Miami Heat 2.0? Like, come on, man. This team is too... Oh, that, that, that team is too overpowered, man. James Harden getting fouls all over the place. And then after that, you got to deal with KD and him just lighting you up. Then on top of that, you got Dwight Howard just being the beast that he is you know he can you know they throwing lobs to him all you know James Harden everybody gonna be throwing lobs to him all game so you know you gotta you, you gotta stay on your toes with this team if if this team was to ever form just man James, James Harden and then you got the backups to then you, not to mention the other guys on this team you got Sam Decker the the back who 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 most who who could evolve into something special um if he if he if if he can uh, stick if he can stick to it um then you got Ty Lawson Trevor Reza Patrick Beverly this team would be dude the bench would be loaded not only would the 
not only where the star players make this team feel like it's loaded, the bench is loaded, man. KD on the Houston Rockets is pretty much just overkill, man. And if they were to face up against the Cleveland Cavaliers, I, the Cleveland Cavaliers wouldn't even stand a chance, dude. I'm, I'm saying it right now. They would face up against LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers in the NBA Finals. This Houston Rockets team would win 10 out of 10 times. Like, this is just how overpowered this team is. And this is not me being a fanboy of KD or nothing like that. It's not because KD is my favorite player. This is like, this is like my serious, legit opinion because the fact that you have a team formed like this it just isn't fair <laughs> trust me when i tell you it just isn't fair i know there's been a lot of super teams that don't that don't really that aren't really you know big threats in the uh in the nba a la the la clippers a la the la lakers with dwight howard and steve nash um I know there's been there's been super teams that have been formed in the past, but in the Western Conference and they did not work out. But this ain't your average super team, dog. These dudes are still in their prime. You gotta think about that. These dudes are still in their fucking prime. That's the kill that's that I think that's the thing though. It's like when super teams are built in the Western Conference, nine times out of ten, two two of the three guys are never in their prime. Like, think about it. Like, think about like, I mean, you gotta think about it though. Like the heat, like the L.A. Clippers when Chris Paul first came over there with Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin was still in development. Um, DeAndre Jordan, he he was still in development. Uh. You know what I'm saying? Like, like a lot of these guys, like a lot of those, like, you know, Kobe, Kobe was just, Kobe was exiting. To tell you the truth, Kobe was actually exiting his uh, prime. So <laughs> there was that. Um, you know, because when he went down with the Achilles injury, that was pretty much uh, Father Tom saying, "Your time has come, my nigga. It's time for you to, uh, it's time for you to get this, uh, this." Uh, this uh, treatment, this old man treatment, though. You getting up there in age, Kobe? It's time we had a little talk, bruh. Let me come at that Achilles real quick. That's that's what that was. That's exactly what that was. That was that was Kobe exiting his prime. Steve Nash been past his prime, so you know. That's why, you know, things didn't really work out there with that L.A. Laker team that year. So really, did, if you put a team like this together, all three dudes would be in their prime. And if you say Dwight Howard's not in his prime, I, I say you need to go back and watch the playoffs from last year and look at what Dwight Howard was doing uh, when they weren't doing the sh the hack a shack uh, method. I'm, uh, that would be the only weakness, though, is the hack a shack method. But other than that, man, the team still be, be fucking loaded. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much the game, man. We come away with the win here against the Houston Rockets. Tell me what y'all think in the comment section below. KD, James Harden, Dwight Howard, Kevin McHale as the coach. Dude, you cannot tell me that that team would be unstoppable unless it's against the Spurs. But, yeah, man, tell me what y'all think in the comment section below. I'll get back to y'all. Until then, peace out. Ernie Johnson here again with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny Smith. Without further ado, let's present to you our Jordan player of the game, Freak. No matter what they threw at him during the second half, it seemed like he had the answer and was able to find all the shots he wanted. That was Freak turning up the volume right there, baby, all the way up to 11. And stereo only goes to 10, Ernie, but we're at 11 right now. The man himself may be quiet, but his performance spoke very loudly. Well, he reminded us all of how dangerous he is as a slasher. He drove the lane time and time again and got points inside to show for it. An explosive, hard-charging performance. I loved it. And folks, that's it for us. Thank you for tuning in. Always a pleasure. For Kenny the Jet Smith, for Shaquille O'Neal, this is Ernie Johnson. Have a great night.